What's up everyone, it's just Blaze 8 9 Today we're going to be doing the best class setup for Kill Confirmed in Modern Warfare Remastered. Now the gun we're going to go for is going to be the Mac 10 But if you haven't unlocked that yet, then you can use whatever submachine gun you're most comfortable to use. Bearing in mind that we are going to be having a suppressor on this. So I wouldn't advise the Scorpion, purely due to the fact that the range is that limited with the suppressor on. That it's pretty much damn near knife in range. So I wouldn't go down the Scorpion route, but any other one will be fine. But if you've unlocked it, the Mac 10 is definitely the best submachine gun on the game, so go for that. So as I said, the attachment going for is, is the suppressor. The reason for that being that it's going to keep us off the radar when we're firing our gun. And therefore make it easier for us to catch the enemy off guard and flank around where possible. Obviously, the if we catch the enemy off guard, we have a better chance of having an easier gun battle. Uh, nine times out of ten our reaction speed is going to be a bit quicker than theirs because they didn't expect us to be there. The perk we're going to go for is perk one. It's going to be bandolier. The reason that we're going for bandolier is because it just gives us, as I've said with I think pretty much every class setup bar the other one, we go with bandolier as perk one purely for the fact that it's going to give us extra couple of clips of ammo and that can make all the difference when you're on a big streak I hate running out of ammo with my gun and having to pick one up although it is still viable if I've picked a gun it's because that's the gun I want to use so I like to have the extra ammo just so I don't run out and get caught off guard and then without any bullets so you can feel free to spray away with the bullets when you've got the bandolier on because the odds of you running out are slim to none unless you're going to go on a big like 20, 25, 30 kill streak then you might run out but probably not, you really have to hose through some bullets to get through it. So, perk 2 we're going to go for is going to be stopping power. Now, you may be wondering why aren't we going with the UAV jammer. The reason for that is that we don't want to go full stealth due to the fact that it does take away some of our range on the gun. And due to it being an SMG silence, I would rather go with stopping power. Because I find that if you have stopping power on when you're using a suppressor, it pretty much extends the range that you do damage at. So therefore, you pretty much run in. A, you can do damage at a further range with stopping power on, basically, with your suppressed weapon than if you didn't have it. So we're going to go for that. So it's not a fully stealth clash. You're not always going to catch the enemy off guard, but obviously, if they haven't got a UAV up, you will. Perk 3, we're going to go for, now you're going to hate me for this and I hate myself for doing it. It's literally only recently I've started doing it on this class and that is I've got martyrdom as perk 3. Now before you hate me, let me tell you why. I discovered a lot when I was on here, it was starting to do my nut. That when you get ki when you kill someone, you go running to get their tag and then all of a sudden you when you get there you realise they've dropped a grenade through martyrdom and you're blown up and like that there. That was perfect timing, I didn't even realise that was coming up, but just like that there. And it happened to me that many times, I ended up thinking, well if you can't beat them, join them. So if you go for martyrdom on kill confirmed, it's the most effect, probably one of the most effective perks you could have. And it's definitely the most effective game mode to have martyrdom on. Because people come charging towards the tags when they get the kill, and by the time they realise you've dropped the frag, they're already too close and they're going to be dead. So the kill, you'd be surprised how many kills you can get in a game. I mean, you're probably looking on average, I would say, depending on how many times you die, obviously, but you're probably going to get at least three kills a game with your martyrdom, but probably more than that. So if you are really, really against martyrdom, then you could always swap that out for extreme conditioning due to the fact that if you have extreme conditioning, obviously you can sprint for longer, so you've got a better chance of getting to the tags and just keep him moving which is always the aim of the game I find in kill confirmed so just to run through that again because obviously I rambled a lot in between we're going for the MAC-10 as our weapon but if you haven't got that any other submachine gun that's your favourite one to use uh, um, with a suppressor on it perk 1 is bandolier perk 2 is stopping power and perk 3 is martyrdom but remember if you are really really against martyrdom which I know a lot of people are because I was then you can always exchange that for extreme conditioning now let's quickly go into a few tips on how I play kill confirmed the first is the obvious one keep moving as much as possible because the aim of the game is to get the tags you can go around farming kills if you want just not picking up tags and trying to get as many kills as you want but What's the point in playing kill confirmed then go play team deathmatch 
so I would advise you just keep moving as much as possible just chasing the tags down because obviously tags are what win you the game and nine times out of ten your team's gonna win if you're collecting as many tags as you can because a lot of people don't bother to collect them which makes no sense to me because it's more points so but whatever um, the other tip that I'd give you is as I say martyrdom martyrdom does it's so useful on this game mode as much as I hate the perk when it kills me it does do a real good job for you like I say people charge blindly at the tags and when they do that because I do it all the time when they do that they're gonna run into your frag and then bang they're gone job done so basically when playing kill confirmed you want to be pressing as much as possible using the suppressed weapon purely due to the fact you don't want your bullets to pop pop, pop ugh, don't know what happened there to pop up on the radar when you're firing on because it's going to give you a better chance try and always try and be where the enemy is if you know what i mean always try and be behind enemy lines don't be at the back where your team's spawning constantly be pushing their spawn non-stop keep the pressure on get the kills and grab them tags there's not much more to say other than that it's pretty self-explanatory how you play kill confirmed leave a like if you like the video i hope this was helpful subscribe for more peace